Hey gang, what do you hear? What do you say? Let's talk a little bit about a chronological walkthrough of World War II. For those of you who don't know or, or are new to following the big board, I'm run, running through from 1939 all the way through 1945 with all the game titles I have. Each of the major battles or conflicts or campaigns that occurred within well, the time period of World War II. And so far we've gone through 39 and 40 and 41. Uh, we've done some uh, battles here and there that are either before, a little, a little further down the track and a little of a rewind and gone back a couple of times to play smaller battles from say uh, Gazala or something like that. But right now we're in the June, July, August sort of time frame for World War II. And we've just wrapped up uh, a flat top battle where we looked at the Coral Sea. We played uh, Matanikau, which looked at uh, part of the Guadalcanal campaign. And we'd previously played Bloody Ridge, so we kind of got a double dose of the Guadalcanal efforts. And then we, that's really the limit of my Pacific titles that I own. Uh, for ground operations. So there are some new titles coming down the track in the next two years that maybe we'll be able to you know, have a look at like Tinian or something like that that'll give us a feel for uh, seaborne invasions that are at a fairly detailed level that will be interesting to me and maybe interesting to you. So it leads us to uh, three areas that we need to focus on. One, the Caucasus campaign uh, in the earlier part for June it's kind of the June time frame in 42. And I'm probably going to use the Caucasus campaign, uh, Mark Simonich's G GMT title. So I'll have a look at that. I'll probably try and play that in the next couple of weeks. Then we've got the Battle for Stalingrad. And unfortunately, the only title I own is the Streets of Stalingrad, the L2 version, which you can see here. And we're going to have a look at this, I'll perhaps do a separate video and have a look at the components of this game just a little bit because I, as, as I was looking at it last night, I became more impressed with the game, but also more intimidated by it as well. So there is that. And then the third thing we're going to look at is uh, Tunisia and the invasion, uh, the US forces uh, landings operation torch, I think it was. And so I've, I'm starting to set that up, set the campaign Probably the shorter campaign, we'll skip the mud, the mud turns and stuff. We'll kind of start out with the Axis in a bad situation, the Allies in a bad situation, and kind of go for it from there. And that'll wrap us up for 42. And then 43 we'll deal with in a separate video. Uh, there probably are some more discrete battles, the El Alamein and all that sort of stuff that we'll try and look at if I can find some relatively inexpensive titles that cover that in a manner that I would be interested in. I also do have uh, Unconditional Surrender set up and ready to go now so that we can uh, you know, take a, a strategic look at uh, the entire war as it unfolds. And we won't be trying to play that exactly historically. We're just going to have some fun with that game and see what might have happened if certain other things you know, transpire. So we'll do that. So that's kind of what's going on with the with the chronolo chronological walkthrough. I know there hadn't been very many posts on that recently, so I wanted to touch base with you on that topic. Uh, let's see. And so I do also want to talk about uh, at some point in another video, perhaps what we're doing with ancients, what we're doing with the Napoleonic era, and what we're doing with the modern combat era. Uh, and my burgeoning interest in operational scales American Civil War titles, which we'll we'll get into in a little bit. All right, that's all I wanted to do. We'll uh, I'll restart a video in a minute, and we'll have a look at uh, the streets of Stalingrad, and just try and get a, a deeper appreciation for what exactly is in the box in this very fine-looking title later.